Plant breeders are bringing forward a multitude of new varieties, and variety selection is becoming more complex because of traits. Traits are simply characteristics that are objectively measurable as a yes-no rather than on a sliding scale. Although this is not always the case, it's important to understand the distinction because it can have quite a bearing on variety choice. Vigour can be split into two categories, autumn vigour or growth habit and spring vigour or speed of spring development. It's important to distinguish the two to understand how varieties behave. Autumn vigour is the time between emergence to true leaves. Emergence is far more influenced by soil moisture and seedbed conditions. Spring vigour, or varieties that grow away early in the spring, are important to distinguish because these are varieties that anecdotally cope with the pressure of flea beetle far more effectively. Varieties such as LG Antigua or Flamingo seem to cope with pest pressure because of that early spring development. Varieties such as DK Expectation, LG Antigua and Flamingo all display strong autumn vigour but also combine that with the early spring regrowth that seems to help cope with pest pressures. This work from 2019 compared larvae damage on particular varieties. The two sites of Framlingham and Old Western showed how flamingo had coped particularly well with flea beetle larvae and all other varieties were consistent at both sites. The second trial compared flamingo with a competitive variety in larger blocks and here are the results. Flamingo scored lower for not only damage severity but damage quantity in all of the marked trials. In summary, it would appear that varieties with early spring regrowth seem to cope better with that pest pressure. RLM7 is a gene identified with FOMA resistance. This resistance is consistent across many varieties and gives a benchmark level of tolerance to the FOMA pathogen. RLMS is a more recent introduction of FOMA resistance. It's separate to RLM7, and so if the pathogen were to overcome the initial tolerance gene, we could rely on RLMS as a separate source. RLM7 is available in many current hybrids. Some examples of this include DK Expectation, LG Antigua, and Matrix CL. Turnip yellows virus resistance is relatively new to oilseed rape. Previously, we relied on seed treatments to control the vectors which cause the virus. Although infection severity and impact vary, it's clear that turnip yellows virus resistance brings with it a level of yield security. Many of the highest yielding hybrids in recent years have carried the turnip yellows virus resistance gene. Varieties such as LG Antigua and DK Expectations are examples of this. NFLEX, or nitrogen use efficiency, is the newest addition to a characteristic described by breeders. Some breeders are claiming that particular varieties show better use of nitrogen in suboptimal conditions. Varieties such as LG Antigua can cope with lower levels of nitrogen availability than other varieties. This could give growers reassurance when nitrogen applications might be hampered by the weather or ground conditions. Pod shatter resistance is a trait found in some hybrids which prevents premature shattering of the pods when ready for harvest. Examples of this, such as DK expansion, are useful for growers with larger areas of oilseed rape which may not be cut at the optimal time. 